to unite your human will with the divine will is to become holy, but it's going to be difficult. You know, God's going to tackle those little things that he needs to tackle because this needs to be sorted out. Like I said about the evil spirit saying to the priest, you can't get rid of me because you do that wrong and you do that wrong. So, you know, you've got to tackle your sins to be holy so that you can really exercise the sins of others or whatever. You know what I mean? So you've got to come to holiness yourself through God. We don't know how to come to holiness. So it's only in this cooperation, in this way. That's the teaching of divine will. And what is our human, what is our human life, our human will in comparison to a God that has no beginning and no end? It's nothing. And that's why our sins can be corrected really quickly if we live in this way. Our little human will on living on this earth is nothing in comparison to uniting with the divine will that can correct all that and has already corrected it in Jesus. It's just a matter of claiming it. So this is the teachings. I know this is a bit complicated, but this is the teaching of the Bible. So we don't know we don't have to know how a car works to drive a car. That's what I'm saying. We just have to live in this way. We don't have to know. The priest can learn all about this and why it's true and the complications of understanding what God is actually doing. We don't have, need to know that. We just need to get in the car and start driving. <laughs> so this is the main teaching is surrender your human will. It's called fusing it with the divine will and, and doing what God wants us to do, to give him glory, not to be giving ourselves glory. Uh,